Fox 5 weather 24 seven. We are in the midst of a long heat wave across southern Nevada. We're just entering the middle portion of it. Another record high day at 112 and that's coming off 113 both days over the weekend. Here's the Black Mountain camera showing some high clouds. We actually have a couple storms to our south and also some haze. We're getting that from a wildfire that's burning over the Mojave National Preserve. This is south of I-15 into Southern California, 40,000 acres, and that has been lofting a lot of smoke up into the atmosphere. That's the hot spot right there with future track. So we head into tomorrow. We're looking at some more of that smoke, uh, not only from that fire, but also we got uh, other fires in Southern California that are still letting off smoke into the atmosphere. So haze will be a story for us over the next several days. So something to keep in mind if you do have respiratory problems, maybe a good idea to limit the outdoor activities and also just with the heat. You just want to do it anyway with the afternoon heat peaking 110 plus after after that high of 112 today. We're at 111 right now. 112 at Nellis Air Force Base 111 Pahrump. We're at 109 degrees in Boulder City and the excessive heat warning does continue. It's been in effect since Friday. It's going to continue all the way through Thursday with those temperatures 110 to 116 over the mountains. It's a heat advisory temperatures 90 to 95. We know heat here in Las Vegas, but this is a truly a prolonged heat wave for several days and we're not getting much relief at night either. Even once the sun goes down, we're talking triple digit heat through 11 o'clock tonight and then eventually finding our way into those 90s and 80s very early tomorrow morning. 88. That's where we bottom out tomorrow morning before we crank the heat up once again tomorrow afternoon. 113 the forecast high record tomorrow is 111. So looking at another record breaking day in the heat department. 117 Laughlin and 114 in Mesquite. I know you might be thinking, OK, we need some rain, something to break this heat up. Well, the heat's going to stay with us, but we are going to be tracking a few more thunderstorms around Southern Nevada for tomorrow. This afternoon, we got some activity. This is uh, south of the California border along I-15 as you head toward Death Valley. Uh, but the pattern is this. we got the big hot high, high pressure. That's the blue H. Uh, that's a big heat dome essentially right on top of us. That's going to keep the heat going. But the thing is, it's still monsoon season. We've got a little bit of moisture creeping in for tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, I think we will see some more activity in the thunderstorm department. I want to show you where the thunderstorms will be focused over the mountains. That'll be the prime spots. Very slight chance we see anything move into the valley tomorrow. Most of it will be elevation based storms, but one spot we'll be watching, especially 95 south of Boulder City. That's always a hot spot for thunderstorms. So if you are maybe traveling down to Laughlin or to coming from Laughlin to Las Vegas tomorrow afternoon, keep in mind could run into some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. As far as temperatures, they're just not letting up 113 the next two days. Some more mountain storms possible again on Wednesday. Then into the rest of the week, boy, we're just right up in that record territory. Not a whole lot of relief in the temperature department through the weekend. So again, the excessive heat warning through Thursday, but temperatures are, are still going to be up there through the weekend. We're at 109 on Monday with a forecast uh, where the record is 112. Uh, speaking of big temperatures, we've got historic heat in Death Valley yesterday. I'm going to break down that big 130 they saw and why it's so significant. That's coming up at 647.